Hello you guys, so this brutal game was played in 1959 candidates and as the format of the tournament was a round robin so they played two games against each other and for the spoiler both of the games were won by Mikhail Tal. The first match was famous psychological game in which Tal smiled and Bobby Fischer blunders. This is the second game. Let's just straightly dive into this masterpiece. Here Mikhail Tal has a white piece and Bobby Fischer has a black pieces. Tal opens with queen pawn opening with d4, we have knight f6, c4 and g6, so we have a king's Indian defense. Now we have knight c3 and here many people favorite d5 to go for the groomful defense. But here we have bishop g7, so king's Indian is on the way. Tal plays e4 and now for black there are mainly two main variations to go about here. And one is d6 here and the other one is just castle here. The castle one is known as a facial transposition in which just castles and if you just try to play e5 here which is actually not so great you can play just knight to e8 here and now you can just transform it with f5 but d6 and bishop to e3 and c5 so this type of position white can have a space advantage here but these extended pawn can be a liability than an asset here fisher chooses d6 here and now white can play many variation here you can play f3 which is actually a sandwich variation you can play f4 which is actually a four pawn attack you can play knight to f3 which is a classical variation but here mikhail tal goes for a very calm bishop to e2 bobby castles here and now we have knight to f3 and then we have e5 here and now if you're thinking you can actually win a pawn by d takes e5, d takes e5, queen takes and rook takes and you just take with the knight here. This is actually bad after knight takes e4 and you're going to lose a pawn here. Tal knows about it in place d5 here and now we have knight b to d7 so aiming at the c5 square here which white usually prevent by playing b4 here. Now white plays bishop to g5 and now we have h6 here and now we have bishop to h4 so keeping the pin here. Now we have a6 here limiting the movement of the c3 knight for the near future and now we have castles here and now a technical mistake by a fisher queen to e8 to unpin the queen here. So the fisher idea is to actually play knight to s7 and now try to go for the f5 here. But before that you can actually play b5 here and after let's say bishop to g3 you can actually play knight to h5 and now you can even play for a good f5 here or you can either put the knight here. So unlike the original position black actually have a good idea to go about this position. So after queen to e8 Tal plays knight to d2 and now we have knight to s7 so aiming for f5 for the near future here. So we have b4 so stopping so knight to c5 here and now here if you play f5 which is actually a bad move here because if you try to take with the pawn and pawn you can just play bishop to h5 here and now queen has no square to go so you have to give up and exchange here and you will be winning here so bobby if you saw it in play bishop to f6 we have bishop takes bishop and knight takes bishop and now we have knight to b3 and now he plays queen to e7 so here d8 to e8 to e7 so queen just lost the tempos here and now we have queen to d2 and now we have king to s7. Now we have queen to e3 here trying to support the push of c5 here. Now we have knight to g8 here and as the white is expecting to play b6 here so c5. And now we have f5 and now we have e takes f5 and then g takes f5 and now we have f4 here. So here majority of the player will play e4 here because it will give a decent position for a black here but here bobby fisher goes for e takes f5 because he was trailing in the tournament here so he wanted a win here he didn't see that e4 can grant him any a winning advantage here so after e takes f4 we have queen takes f4 and now we have t takes c5 and now here tal plays a brilliant move bishop to d3 not regaining the pawn on c5 here and now we have c takes b4 and now we have rook to e1 attacking the queen here and queen goes to f6 here and now just mikhail tal says take my knight by playing rook to e6 and now actually black doesn't take a knight here it will give a losing position here you have to play queen to g7 but bobby accepted the challenge here in place queen takes c3 and now we have bishop takes f5 check rook takes f5 and now we have queen takes f5 check King goes to h8 here and now Tal plays a great move, rook to f3 because queen has no checks here. This is covered by a rook here, this is covered by a knight here, this is covered by a knight here and what you have to do here. 
Due to lack of good moves here, Bobby Fischer plays queen to b2. Now Tal plays a strong move, rook to e8 here, depending the knight here. And now if you try to play like queen to g7 here to support the knight here, white can just play rook to g3 here. And now you just you just completely doomed here. So after rook to e8, black tried knight 2 f6 here but as this uh, g8 knight is pinned here so why just simplify the position by queen takes f6 queen takes f6 and rook takes f6 as this knight is pinned here and king goes to g7 here as solid exchange up so he had no hurdles in converting the position so we have rook f to f8 here now we have knight to e7 now we have knight to a5 then h5 and just tall completely shut off the play of black by playing h4 here and now we have rook to b8 and now we have knight to c3 and now just b5 here and then after knight to a5 black just resigned here because if you just play just like a natural move like uh, rook to b6 you're just getting you're just getting made into by playing rook to f7 king to s6 and then rook to h8 checkmate here so this was a brilliant game played by mikal tal here so if you like the video do like and subscribe the channel to stay tuned for the more updates